The film is based on the best-selling book by Ralph Larson. Mm -hmm. How did you find the book? Someone found the book for me. And yeah. he sent me when I was making a commercial in Australia. Yeah. And he, told, he called me and said, you have to read it very quickly, it's for you. And um, with the jet lag, I couldn't sleep during the night, so I read it. And after 10 lies, I remember I said, oh, it's for me. I need to be in love with a book before the 10 lines. It's very important. It happened maybe three, four times. When I thought, okay, it's a thing for me, I reach, I reach it, I reach, I reach, I think I reach. Okay. I reach the author yes. in New York and he told, I knew he had a list of five directors he wanted to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim Burton, David Fincher, Wes Anderson, Alfonso Cuaron and myself. He said, oh, you are in my list. You are the first in my list and I pretended to believe him. And I met him in New York and immediately I, I found a, a son because he's 40, I am 60, yeah. but he, he is exactly like me. Exactly, we have the same preoccupation, the same spirit. And they told me when I watched Amelia, I thought someone scratched in my head and I, I had exactly the same feeling when I read the book. Do you like to visit uh, film festivals? I love to speak with audience. I love to speak with students to give advices, because of course I have some experiences and they don't care maybe, but uh, I don't care, they don't care. And my best advice is, is just do it. Take a camera, a computer, and make a film. That's the best advice I can give. That's great advice. Yeah. Yeah. Another question for students is, do you want to make a film, or do you want to be a director? To make or to be? This is the most important question. Yeah, what do you think is the meaning of a young film, film festival like Amsterdam Film Week for the future of film? Uh, I think it's I think it's important because uh, cinephily, does that make sense? Yeah. Is going to disappear. For example, I was speaking with two French directors, very brilliant. They make a TV show and they are writing a first feature now. They are brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I spoke about Wim Wenders. They didn't know Wim Wenders. I almost cried. Wim yeah. Wenders, my God! <laughs> well, yeah. And now he's continued to make movies. He's not. He's not dead, you know, and they didn't know him. And the cinephile disappeared because now young people are so full of information with the social networks, with internet, with the TV shows, with the video games, with TV and blah, blah, blah. They don't have the time to watch old movies. For example, when I speak with students, they are 20. Uh, they don't know Delicatessen, my first feature, yeah. because they weren't born. <laughs> it's a pity. <laughs> Yeah. And they don't have the feeling to watch old movies, except when the parents um, push them to watch old movies, Buster Keaton, black and white movies, even when not movies, but they need to, to see the history of cinema. Because I don't know anything better than Fellini, or uh, Sergio Leone, or so many Kurosawa, or blah blah blah, so many directors. It's important to know them.